California came up with Sprawlita. Its legs are pistons that mimic the way a roach's legs push against the ground. And its legs both give and sprawl like a real roach. And this cockroach-inspired design does give it a reasonable turn of speed. This robot can cover three body lengths a second. This prototype is programmed and driven by a large control unit attached by cables to the robot. But inspired by the success of the basic design and by the control systems of insects, Sprawlita evolved into iSprawl, a remote control version. And with a few further improvements in leg design, iSprawl can cover 15 body lengths a second in a surprisingly roach-like manner, though not yet close to the fastest roaches. But roaches aren't the only creatures providing inspiration for robot designers. If anything, ghost crabs are even more impressive performers. They can also run at speed, but on eight legs, not six. And they can switch from running forwards to sideways to backwards without ever breaking stride. Back in the lab, the ghost crab's running skills can be studied in more detail. They are also the perfect all-terrain vehicles. In this experiment, air bubbled through the sand turns it into the equivalent of quicksand. It slows the crab down. But a change in its gait, the crab's version of low gear ratio four-wheel drive, means it can easily cross this obstacle. And back on the treadmill, the scientists can also measure how much energy the crabs are using to move. And some very unexpected results are beginning to emerge. As they measured more and more species with different numbers of legs, they found similar relationships between the energy used and the forces that these creatures generate when walking. Between animals as different as humans, crabs, and dogs. One human leg is the same as two dog legs, or three roach legs, or four crab legs. An underlying principle of walking seems to be emerging, and this holds all the way up to a millipede with 180 legs. Understanding the basic principles behind nature's designs is the key to successful bio-inspired thinking. And millipedes, crabs and roaches seem to be leading to totally new robot designs. Nature's walking machines rarely break down. And that's because nature goes in for a lot of redundancy. There's always a backup system. Creatures like millipedes and centipedes dramatically illustrate this principle. They have multiple repeated segments, each doing the same thing. A great many of these segments would have to be damaged to stop this 10 centimeter giant centipede from moving at speed over the forest floor. And its long, thin body allows it to squeeze through narrow gaps in pursuit of prey. At Penn State University in Philadelphia, this segmented robot works on just that principle. When it wants to move quickly, it can roll into a wheel, but then it unfurls to move like a mechanical caterpillar through narrow gaps. And it will take the loss of several of its segments to bring it to a halt. Giving a robot segments means it can behave even more like a centipede, making use of serpentine movements to move at high speed. The wheels on this robot are not powered. They merely allow the robot to glide over the floor, driven by its centipede-like undulations. 
but it's also possible to have the best of both worlds, of technology and nature, by combining wheels and legs. These robots do just that, hence their name, WEGS. This is, in essence, a cockroach on wheels. Wheeled legs give these robots the advantage of wheels, but with the roaches' ability to negotiate obstacles. But roaches are still much better at covering rough ground, even at top speed. It only takes a slight change to their control system to allow them to do this, something that attracts as much envy as admiration from robot designers. And something else roaches do without breaking stride is climb up vertical surfaces. They do this by using tiny claws on their feet, which hook into any irregularities on the surface. How they attach and release these hooks is the secret to their success. A secret that has been unraveled by scientists at Stanford University. They've produced SpinyBot, a robot that can climb vertical surfaces using cockroach-like claws and an ingenious mechanism for hooking into the tiniest of cracks. But some insects can go where even roaches fear to tread. Flies have little trouble in climbing up smooth surfaces like glass, where a roach's claws would have nothing to hook into. A trick that's down to the fine details of the fly's foot. Magnified more than a thousand times, a fly's foot is covered in huge numbers of tiny hairs, each of which ends in a flattened plate. The fly oozes an oily liquid into the hairs, which sticks each of those thousands of plates onto the glass by a process called liquid adhesion. The same thing that causes a beer mat to stick to a wet glass. Robot designers have looked at flies, but concluded that robots that leave oily footprints wouldn't be a good idea. Especially when there are bigger creatures that can climb smooth surfaces that might be easier to mimic, like tree frogs. The frog's feet are covered in mucus, but they don't seem to work in quite the same way that a fly's foot does. Because the frog is so much bigger, the mucus on its toes would have to be thicker to stick it to the glass, and then it couldn't unstick its feet. After all, climbing is as much about letting go as hanging on. When scientists looked closely at this mucus, they were surprised to find that it's not much thicker than water. Easy for the frog to lift its feet, but not sticky enough for it to hang on. The answer to this mystery lies in the fine detail of the frog's toes, a precise pattern of hexagonal plates. Each plate can move separately to line up with any irregularities on the surface, and the canals carry away any excess mucus that might separate the plates from the surface. At smaller scales again, each plate is covered with tiny bumps, the tips of which make close contact with the surface so close that it's friction that stops a frog sliding down the glass. Which is making car tire manufacturers sit up and take notice. Perhaps new and safer tires based on the toes of a frog? But for sheer sticking power, nothing beats this creature. A gecko. Geckos can race up a vertical wall with no problems and they can even hang upside down from the ceiling. 
It's been calculated that a gecko's feet are so sticky that it could support a weight of 25 kilograms before it falls.